Hey everyone, I finally found it, the M18 track saw patent from Milwaukee. Let's take a look at this thing. So it's got quite a few illustrations on this so we can get a good idea of what the track saw looks like. Now of course, these images can always be just representative and it can always change, but let's take a look anyway. It's got a lot of standard features for a track saw. It lists the bevel adjustment from negative one degree to 48 degrees, with stops at 0, 45, and possibly at 15 and 30 as well. This looks like it has a very similar track design with Makita and Festool, so it's quite possible this could be compatible with those rails. Of course, it's got a sacrificial zero clearance strip on the side. It's also got the track connector spots that Makita and Festool both do, and it has a clamp hold down spot as well. The patent also mentions two low friction strips on the top, so the saw plate can glide across smoothly. The saw has adjustable cams to take any slop out between the track and the saw plate, so you don't have any movement between those two, except in the direction you wanna cut. Of course, the saw has a riving knife. In addition to that, it has a splinter guard that's on the front of the blade that is zero clearance. There's a transparent window on the side of the blade guard so you can see the blade. And there's a plunge lockout button and a plunge depth stop as well as a plunge scoring stop. Now, one interesting feature of this that's in the patent is the depth stop for this is toothed. So that means it's not relying on friction to hold it in place. It's got some positive grip so it's not gonna slip while you're cutting. Now the one odd thing about this design is the battery looks like it's almost in the way of the auxiliary handle on the front. That's probably not gonna be an issue for smaller batteries, but if you try to use this with a 12 amp hour battery, it looks like you might have a little bit of trouble. So that's all the observations I have from the patent. If you wanna go read it yourself, I have it linked in the video description. From earlier this year, there was a Home Depot leak where they put the product description up on their website before taking it back down. We know it's gonna have a 6,300 RPM blade speed from that kitted with a six amp hour battery. It's going to have a six and a half inch diameter blade, which is pretty standard for track saws, a claimed 90% dust collection, uh, and a variable speed dial on it for optimizing your cut speed with your material. Now, the only remaining question is, is when is this track saw gonna be available? To help figure that out, I went back and looked at some of the older patents that I had found on products that have actually been released. So I looked at their filing date versus their announcement and release date. And if we wanna project off of that, it's not for sure, this isn't a definite, but that's anywhere from four to 16 months from the filing to when it's available. Now this patent for the track saw was filed in 2021 in November. So that means we're looking anywhere between March 2022, that's come and gone, or March 2023. It's not a guarantee, but I bet we'll see it before then. So that's all I had for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you're as excited as I am.